Hey YouTube, I'm Jean with CryptoPix. Today I'm going to be talking about what I believe are the top coins to hold from now until 2018 and why I think these coins are so important to actually hold. I'm going to give you the the coin itself, the project that they're doing, the use of the actual coin, and then why I believe 2018 will be their year. Of course, before I get anything going, I just want to say thanks to all my new subscribers, all my old subscribers, everyone that's just watching my videos, whether you subscribed or not, I appreciate all of you. Also smash that like and subscribe button. I appreciate it every single time. It drives me to do more videos for all of you. So to get started, let's look at November 13th, 2016, one year ago. You're looking at Bitcoin is under $700, Ethereum under around $10, Litecoin $3, dash ten dollars waves 40 cents like look at these prices it's ridiculous if we could go back to here we would be we'd be balling right now if we kept it held and now you go to prices today bitcoin is 6100 dollars ethereum's 316 as you can just see everything has just pushed super hard with a, with a few newcomers here neo neo was there but they weren't up it was ant shares before omisigo quantum arc there's just so many newcomers here so 2017 was pretty much like the idea era where everybody was coming in there's a bunch of icos everybody has these ideas everybody's like okay where's the product what's going on come on let's get this going now 2018 this is where i think everything is going to be big and why everything's going to transform because this is going to separate the ideas from the actual teams that are pushing the product and actually doing something in this space. And this is why I think it's important to find out which ones will be here at the end of 2018, and which is why I am making this video. So before I get completely started, I plan on doing three parts, at least three parts. I wanna do three coins per video because I wanna get semi-detailed with it and I don't want it to be super long and super confusing because I've added so many different coins. So first, of course, let's go with the big dog. First, we have Bitcoin, pretty much the king of cryptocurrency. Bitcoin uses peer-to-peer -peer technology to operate with no central authority or banks. Managing transactions and the issuing of Bitcoins is carried out collectively by the network, which is you and I. The coin is basically an electronic currency. So why do I think Bitcoin is gonna be so huge in 2018? Well, like I said, Bitcoin is king. It's the face of cryptocurrency, and without it, mass adoption will be extremely hard. Again, I feel like Bitcoin is just the marketing aspect of cryptocurrency. Jamie, Jamie Dimon, all those people that FUD over cryptocurrency, if Bitcoin were to get overtaken, they would have so much more of a backbone to stand on when it comes to FUDing over cryptocurrency. So in my opinion, we need this, at least until mass adoption happens. And if you compare the prices, as I said, it was under $1,000 one year ago, is now $6,000. So with the more people coming because it's the new age of cryptocurrency or people are actually bringing out the products, marketing is going to be happening. I feel like Bitcoin, as so many people are predicting, will go from 6,000 to at least like 25,000. So there's a huge gain possibility. That's like four, maybe five times, depending on what it gets to, which in Bitcoin is huge because people have a lot of money there. And next we have my favorite coin of all altcoins, 0x. So 0x is an open permissionless protocol allowing for ERC20 tokens to be traded on the Ethereum blockchain. In the OX protocol, orders are transported off the chain, massively reducing the gas cost and eliminating blockchain bloat. Pretty much Ether Delta. You use that, you got to pay money to do transactions. I just had that happen where I didn't have enough gas, so then I had to buy it, send it to my MetaMask. It was just a huge annoyance. And then you get this bloat where sometimes it takes forever to do a transaction and you end up missing it. So they also have relayers which help broadcast orders and collect a fee each time they facilitate a trade. And anyone, you and I, can build a relayer. And the coin is used for governance as their primary importance and then as a fee token so why do i think 0x is going to be so huge in 2018 this one just gets me so excited to talk about because it's a total sleeper coin right now i am accumulating as much as possible of course my favorite token and they have 23 
partnerships lined up and there's more to be added you can go on their website this show some of their bigger partners eth phoenix is going to be huge district zero x there's so many that i'm sure some of you guys have heard you just didn't even know they're using the zero x protocol and again there's 23 right now that they're still building their product and in 2018 will launch and then all of these companies will be using zero x protocol therefore fees will be used with the the token and i feel that this this token price will just drive like crazy granted i can't compare it to 2016 this time because it's a new token but i believe that when we get to november 2018 we'll be looking back and being wow i am so glad that i invested in zero x because of that 10 times 20 times gains who knows but we can see that they have a great future ahead of them just by the partners that are lined up to use them as of now and who knows how many they'll have in half a year from now it could be 50 100 who knows now on to my third coin that you should hold for 2018, Bitcoins. And I know a lot of you guys watching this love this coin, so I'm excited to discuss this and why I think it's gonna be a super good hold all the way through 2018. Bitcoins combines a universal mobile wallet with a secure liquidity layer that works with multiple cryptocurrency and coins. It allows users to invest in multiple cryptocurrencies instantly with one-click diversification. Later on, through QR code, merchants can decide which cryptocurrency they want to get paid in so what is bqx token used for it's used for transactional activity on the bitcoins platform including fiat transactions basket creation unique data and research generation risk mitigation fund creation distribution management and so much more if you go to their telegram they have a daily summary page where you can just get so much information about the future of this company so of course, why do I think Bitcoins is a good hold for 2018? Number one, they have a super great established community that loves the product that will go to the Telegram, interact, and you can tell they actually care what happens with this product. It's actually super rare to see and it's really nice. Next, they have a transparent team with high community involvement. You go to their Telegram, the CEO, Steven, they're all there to talk and discuss and answer any questions that you have about the product and then just the actual product it's made to help bring masses to cryptocurrency make it easy for the people that don't know what they're doing so it's just this is such a big step especially in 2018 when things just start coming together this will be huge and if they can follow through which i believe they can with their transparent team the project idea the team they have and the community just being involved there's no reason that they shouldn't do great throughout the whole entire year and us looking back be like wow i'm so glad i got in at a dollar because i've made 10 times 20 times gain now i don't really feel that it's going to hit like 300 dollars, but even at 25 30 bucks it is huge gains and it has the potential to get there so that's part one of my picks that I think you should get from now until the end of 2018 and kind of give you an idea why I think they have the potential to be super successful. I would love if any of you can post in the comments, let me know if you agree with me or if you disagree and tell me why, especially if you disagree, because I really put some research into these to find out what are the best coins that should be invested in 2018. Now, granted, there's going to be two other parts. So don't get all mad at me being like, oh, where's this coin? Where's that coin? Just wait. It could be in part two or part three. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned for part two and part three. And I'll see you next time.